First time of 2021. Three nights on the tops. Flash goal. Good guys, on another hunt. Um, yet again, just me and Reddy in the weather just not looking after us, but we got four nights up on the tops. It should be bloody epic um, if it clears. Mm. We uh, saw a chamois on the way up today. <clears throat> sort of a decent looking buck to be honest, so if the weather doesn't clear, he's probably gonna end up being the target. Otherwise, it's a bit of a scouting list. Try find some stags and velvet, um, or just bag some venison, but now we've got some country to cover. It's gonna be bloody epic. Bring it on, eh? Pretty exciting to start today with all the tarns and whatnot. So. Yeah, gosh, oh, she's been pure up here. It's gonna be some epic shots. Bloody oath. Ace, let's do it. Ace. Plan for tomorrow, Mitchie. What so, have we come up with? We've got a bit of a weather window tomorrow morning, maybe. So we're gonna <laughs> head over um, nice and early to sort of the edge of the ridge there um, and glass down to the other side because there's sort of the bush edge and a lot more shrub down there. So I think deer might be a bit lower. With the wind picking up, Reddy took one for the team to do some last minute tent work. Cheers mate. Bit windy. This is fucking delicious. Got some raro too. Boy, it's gonna be fly tomorrow night the hills. So that weather window this morning was non-existent. It's been blow and it starts off um, pretty much off and on raining all morning but sort of hunkered down just getting some water now looks like we might be stuck in here for a couple of days before we get a clearing <laughs> but it's Wednesday at the moment forecast to clear Friday morning then we'll get out there there'll be animals about and we'll get something on the ground That's actual gorgeous out here eh? Stay like this stuff, mate. We just drop down a bit, see if we can get below the flag. Yeah. Because yeah, there'll be no rain or wind, hopefully. Yeah. This way for the forecast. You wouldn't believe it. The weather has cleared. We've got a bit of a wind out at the moment. So we're going to head out for a hunt. Um, Probably just drop down the valley, so if the clag does come back in, we can, we can be below it hopefully, and then see if some deer come out down on the scrub of the bush line. Now yeah, there's a bit of clear weather and it's not raining. So, fingers crossed we get onto an animal. Um, it's got pretty high hopes, but how much speak is it? Optimistic the weather's sort of, so nah, it should be good. So we just spotted that shimmy again from yesterday, um, up in a pretty gnarly bluff system. Incredible animals, but uh, we think he's got quite a lot of length to him, but doesn't really have much hook, so. At this stage, he's, he's not getting us too excited, but it'd be worth a closer look later on the trip. Nothing else is going on, so yeah, cool to see him again. So we just got three more. <laughs> Mitch is getting the camera on. It's a chat, mate. Couple youngsters. And, oh, is that an old nanny? Here are. Looks like it might be an old nanny over with them, eh? At least it's a lighter coat of bark. Chasing each other around, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> it's just chasing. They fly, man. It's so quick. It's a big, big glove system, too. Dude, imagine we try to do that. We'll be going to block the wheel right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. So I think from here, we're gonna like, hunt our way across onto that ridge and then look around the corner up into that head basin, see if there's any more chamois sticking around. Um, hopefully a big buck. Otherwise, we'll head down this evening onto that knoll and just have a look down onto some bush lines and into the scrub for some deer. But yeah, it's super early in the day at the moment, so just happy to be outside, really. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> what a spot to be camping, bro. With good length and decent hooks, this buck deserved a closer look. So that chamois perched up on a pretty wicked bluff system. Um, no way we're getting to him at the moment. So we're just going to leave him for today. Um, save him for maybe the last day of the trip. Plenty more country to look at and more animals to find. So I think our plan from here is drop down a bit lower and have a look for some deer. Um, we'd love to shoot an eater today. Especially have some Benny for dinner, eh? Yeah, it'd be so nice. Just got on to another young buck. Feeding away in a spectacular spot. <laughs> Uh, it smells like an animal. It actually does. It. I reckon that's a little hidey hole for a shim. So we've just, just found us some deer. Um, spiker and a couple of young stags over there, so looking good for a bit of evening action. Um, it's almost on the way back to camp too, so that's bloody beautiful. What do you want? The plan is to um stalking above them and then hopefully just get out right above them and a nice a small shot just straight down the hill um, yeah, there. All right, we're gonna get a move on get towards them make sure we don't run out of light very excited oh he's around the stalk respot another chamois so buck's sort of riding the way if we want to go to get to these uh, deer so hopefully we don't spook it um, and it runs up us there and spooks them Go 
Shot, Salmon. Oh, Mitchy, great shot, mate. Stan. Oh, the boys are Vinny. <laughs> great shot. Vinny for dinner. Dude, good shit, mate. Mate, successful. Great work, mate. Oh, Beautiful. How good. Happy boys. Meat for dinner. It's top top when you shoot an animal. Pay attention to where it goes down because it's pretty easy to think it'll just be right there and then you're like, where the bloody hell is it? It's fine already. Beautiful. Just condition like. Some pretty good nook for summer already. <laughs> so much meat. Let's go on the packs. Here he is. Beautiful meat animal to take. He's a um, young stag, but he's got bugger all trophy potential. He's got pretty cack antlers and not really going to grow anything great. So, wicked's taken for meat. Chuffed with the result. Um, beautiful spot to shoot him in. Absolutely epic around here. It's been a great trip so far. And on top of it, it's only day two, so we've got two days left up here, it's going to be epic. Um, as far as hunting goes, we'll probably only look for a nice chamois buff now, um, something for the wall, but we're pretty chuffed with our hunting so far. Um, so yeah, we're going to spend another two days just exploring, we've got a really, really sick plan, we're going to go across the tops to some epic spots, massive tarn up there, we're looking to get a nice camp beside, so yeah, yeah we've just got to cut them up now, chuck them in our packs. Go the way the hell back up there to our camp. But we've got a bit of light left, so we'll get into it now. Got the bat legs and stakes out so far. Slowly rolling down the hill, but <laughs> there's a big rock. There's a big rock there, so you shouldn't go too much further, eh? There's a big leg. <laughs> Not wait for that to be in the back. Oosh. Then the only bit of the shoulder that I did in ruin with the shot. Oh. Nice pack. So, chuck that in the pack and scream up the hill. Got back legs, back stakes, fillets, and one half of one of the shoulders. Um, the other one was bloody minced. And we're gonna take the heart, but that was also minced. Home sweet home. Two past ten. Right, unreal down the hills, mate. Good shit, mate. We'll have a handshake too, because yeah. fuck. Hell of a day. Bit of sweat on there, Val. Oh, mate. <laughs> Down to the undies. I'm an absolute state all over it. Left the shorts in the tent. What the hell are we Time for some dinner, eh? How good. Big day for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> So good to have dinner though. <laughs> no meat in bed. Have a fun day? Oh my. <laughs> She's been a stonker. <laughs> no, bloody beautiful day. Unreal down the hills. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Oh, out the fucking gate. That's fucking sick. Wow. Here comes the rain. Fuck. Yeah, right. Wow. Crystal clear.
the rain started to set in, we retreated back to camp. As we were getting ourselves some venison for dinner, we discovered that our meat bags could keep the flies out, but couldn't stop them laying eggs through the mesh. Lucky we found the eggs before it got bad. So we got for dinner ready. Dinner tonight we had some nice back sink. Oh yum. It's a lot of meat for two boys, but we sure will <laughs> get through it. Broccoli, onion, and we're gonna try this, some honey soy stir fry sauce. Cooking in a tent. Really, really easy. <laughs> right, so she's eleven twenty two and second seven and dinner's coming up. <laughs> So, we've packed up. The weather's actually cleared now. We were hoping to be out there this morning, but no, she was pretty damp. Um, pretty heavy, we were sleeping in some pancakes. But um, yeah, that's pretty much our trip done, guys. We are heading out today, all the way back down to the car. Um, I don't think much exciting stuff's gonna happen on the way out, so we're just gonna call it here. Thank you so much for watching along. We have absolutely loved it. Ready, give them a spiel. What have you thought about this trip? Oh, it's drive? been an unbelievable trip, eh? The, um, the scenes alone have been worth it. We got an animal as well, day two, which is unbelievable. But yeah, just can't really beat this at all, eh? Nah, it's been incredible. Pretty lucky with the weather too. Full class wasn't looking great, but hey. Yeah, we thought we'd be stuck in the tent till today, so. Made the most of it. It's been epic. That's what we are. Thanks for watching. You guys are great. Subscribe if you want to watch more, because we're going to keep making them.